Good morning, guys. So I'm sure that you've heard that we are transitioning to all online fairly quickly because of the governor's stay at home order. So I wanted to make sure that you knew exactly how to both download and upload your documents that you're going to see from here on out and how to access what it is that you're supposed to be doing every day. So I'm actually going to show you what it should look like. Mine will look a little different simply because I am a teacher, but this format should still look the same. When we get to a part where I don't have the same as you, I'm actually going to use Coach Goodrich's video that he made for us as teachers so that you can literally see how to do a homework drop in RenWeb. So if you'll go to so that you know where you're supposed to go. In RenWeb, on your own account, you would click on Classes, and yours would be full of your own classes. Obviously, mine are full of mine. So I'm actually just going to click on a class, and let's just say that I'm doing today's work. So I would want to go over and go to my lesson plan, and it'll look like this on y'all's. It's always going to start off with Monday, and it's going to show you the lesson plan and the breakdown of what you're supposed to do. So let's just go down to Friday since today is Friday. And so again, you already see this on the handout that I gave you. I have decided to attach a document for your vocab quiz. So if you scroll down, you'll see it'll say supplemental document. You would click on the document and then it's automatically going to download down here. You can do one of two things. You can either open the document you always want to click Enable Editing. And if you're just better at paper, you can always simply just print it off and you'll be good to go. And then just either take a picture of it or scan it and send it to me, either through Remind or email. Or you can actually work on this document itself. So let's just say I wanted to do that. And no, I'm not going to give you a free answer. Nice try. So what you would do is you would in the blanks because you can't write on top of a blank. You would highlight it, color it, because I want to see your answer in a different color just so that it's easier for me to see. Obviously, this is not the correct answer, but let's just say I wanted to put assert, and then boom, bada boom. You would do that for the rest of yours. The only part that's going to be a little weird is with the drawings. So you may want to just on a separate sheet of paper draw them out for me that's fine again i didn't anticipate this when i first made this one so next week's or the next time that we do a normal quiz quote unquote it might look different so you would put in your answers let's say that you're all finished all done good 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 so you'd want to save it and then this is where coach goodrich's video is going to come into a lot of help for you because this is actually what yours looks like and I'm just going to mute him and walk you through this process. So when you're looking at your own and again he's showing you where the homework and everything so you would go to homework drop and this is what yours will look like and it'll have all the documents that you need. You would go up to choose file and you click on choose file. It would open up a tab for you to include your file like Coach Goodrich is doing right now. He's going to find the thing that he labeled it. He's going to open it. It's there. You may want to put a note that this is your vocab quiz or whatever, maybe your name. And then you would upload it and then you're good to go. That's it simple as that. So we will be using this document thing quite often during this process. So if you have any questions, if you have any technical difficulties, if you need me to walk you through it and maybe we need a FaceTime or Zoom and us do it together simultaneously, I am more than happy to do that. Again, this is a learning curve for all of us. So if you have questions, please ask me. If not, I hope that this was helpful, and I hope that um, this process is an easy one. I miss you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. See you later.